Hello Taurus, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for August 11th to August 17th, 2020. Thank you to all my subscribers, all the comments, all the views. I appreciate it so much. It's awesome how my channel is growing. I really appreciate it. If you have any suggestions or anything, go ahead and feel free to leave them. And I put it out there that I'm going to have a drawing when I get to 5,000 subscribers where I'm going to give away a deck of cards. So if you're interested, be thinking about what deck of cards you might be interested in. So there's no way this can apply to every single Taurus out there. And feel free to vice versa, the positive, positive, the masculine and feminine energies. And I shuffle the cards before I turn the camera on. I just give them one more shuffle after I turn the camera on. This is just going to be a general reading for you. Um, what else do I have to say? I guess just that we're on the second week of August, so hopefully everybody did okay for that full moon, that Aquarian full moon. I'm sure it was quite powerful to a lot of people. And it's shocking. Some people probably didn't even realize it was from the moon why they were the way they were. But to each his own. Alright, so I'm going to start with the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle cards for you, Taurus. And the first one you have is 2018, both sides. Take a step back and try looking at this from a different perspective. So the hammerhead shark can see 360 degrees all the way around him. So there's something that you're not looking at all the way. Look at it again, 360 degrees. Look at it inside out, outside in, all the way around, the circumference. Look at everything. There's something you're missing. So, and don't overdo it. If you start feeling like you're going in circles, then you have to take a step back and go back at it another day. Don't ever burn yourself out because it's a good way with your brain to do that when you overthink something. You can go inside your head so easily. Everybody can. So the next one, and that was 28, so that could be an ending if you add the numbers. The next one for you is 6, looking at the underbelly. Be sure that you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider taking time to organize yourself or perhaps a project you are working on could use some fine tuning. And this basically means just what it says. There's something, look at it, it tells you're not seeing both sides of something, and now it's saying look at the underbelly. So you almost got two hints, basically, and they're showing the underbelly of this, and they're showing the underbelly of the hammerhead shark right here, too. They have two, but one of them, you can see its belly. What is going on with the belly? <laughs> that is so weird, but they're trying to tell you something. I wonder what it is. So then we'll go with the next one, Whispers of the Ocean again. 24, love where you are. Use your sensitivity to know when to act. Connect your heart to your head when determining what you would like. And this is the giant clam. And it says the giant clam is very good at siphoning in uh, clean water and getting rid of the old dirty water. And they've lived and grown for years because they're very good at that. So it tells me that you're really good, Taurus, at seeing the negative energy and the positive energy. And you're really good at deciphering that and pushing the positive energy away. So you're happy where you are because you keep a lot of people around you that notice your light shining. They shine with you versus people who compete with you. You're not a competitor in certain ways. And right now... I don't feel like you are. So that would be a 6 2. So you have 10 6 6. So 1 6 6 if that means anything to any of you. So wow, pretty powerful. So I'm going to switch to the Charcoal Wisdom deck. And you have 8 of Swords. 8 of Swords is you going inside your head. You are self sabotaging yourself. You could be beating yourself up over and over, berating yourself over something you didn't handle the way you feel you should have, and don't do that. That is not a good energy. Don't do it. It does no good. Tell yourself positive affirmations. No matter what you did, do not override the positive with the negative. So then you have Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords is very 
and she has a lot of intuition and she's very on guard. How do I say it? She feels like if she's going to cut somebody out, if somebody treats her less than or, yeah, she's on guard is all I can say. There's some sort of intuition with the Queen of Swords and she's getting ready. I feel like you know something, Taurus. And it's being hard on you, keeping it to yourself, and you're just waiting for the right moment, I feel. So Ten of Coins is birthright, so there's something you are keeping to yourself. I feel like it has to do with money or inheritance, something of that sort. A lot of you are keeping to yourself. So Six of Swords would be you moving away from a certain situation that you know is not for your highest good. It could be a thinking pattern that you've carried around since you were young. It could be a relationship where you have a, a child with that person. Um, yeah, but it's not working anymore for you. It's not. They're not acting accordingly. So Five of Cups, you are missing somebody from the past. You are looking at somebody... I feel like you're going to reach out to them because it's blue and it's the throat chakra. So you're reaching out to somebody from your past, possibly. There's no way this could apply to every single Taurus out there. So if you're watching this video and the situation does not apply to you, don't make it fit. Don't say, oh my gosh. You know what I mean? Don't, don't do that. So the devil. This could be Capricorn energy, but this is usually toxic energy. This is somebody who gives 100% in a relationship and somebody who gives nothing. Somebody gave a cup of love, their emotions, their ego, their pride, and somebody else gave nothing at all to the relationship. So Seven of Coins is planning and organizing. So I don't know if you're having regret, Taurus, that you missed somebody from your past because you did not put any effort into the relationship. And it could have involved money as to why you did not. You felt like they didn't make enough money for you or something like that. So Nine of Wands is you having the warrior um, mentality. You feel like you've had to struggle to get to where you are and you are tired and you're almost, how do I say it? You've really had a hard time but now that you're down to one sword you're getting ready to move out of this energy. And so the person who comes into you right now is going to get the broken warrior, so to speak. You're strong in a way, but you need relief. You need um, you need a soft place to fall. And somebody's coming towards you, I feel, that's going to give you that, Taurus. So, Nine of Cups, look at this luxury. Luxury, happiness, softness, comfortableness, feeling like you're beautiful, you belong, and a lot of sacral chakra in here. So I feel like you're healing. From this person who didn't give you anything in the relationship, these two are you healing. And somebody else could be helping you heal. So Ace of Swords would be you letting go of passion that does not bring you stability. You don't have time for players. You don't have time for... Anything that doesn't have passion. You want a relationship. You want passion is what I'm picking up. That's your goal. Wow. So then you have Eight of Coins, which is, again, you planning, organizing your money. And then you have King of Coins. Again, is money. Being stable. Being secure. The King of Coins. This could be somebody offering somebody stability. That's a good card. And then you have the Knight of Coins. So this is usually somebody younger than you. And then you have the Moon, which could be Pisces placement, which to me is yin and yang when something balances out. So I'm being drawn to this. So some of you, is this relate to a Pisces? If not, it's something is going to be brought out if this doesn't relate to a Pisces. All right, I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck, Ten of Sky. Ten of Sky says that you feel tired again. You feel like you've been backed into a corner and you have had all you can take. So Ace of Fire is a couple things. This could be jealousy or passion or both. So you decide. 
Um, yeah, that's action. A lot of action, a lot of romance. But, so, Three of Sky is mischievous friends. So this is a third party. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm starting to realize there's coins in here and there's swords in here. I'm just getting ready to point out something to you. Just a sec. I want to look to make sure before I do it or show you. <laughs> so here's what I see. This is kind of sad. Okay, I see a lot of swords, you guys. A lot of um, sacral chakra stability now the third party came out. So what I see is sadness from a past relationship regret that you might not have given enough. Then I see, yeah, that you didn't give enough or somebody didn't give enough to a relationship and they're regretting it. And then this is cups where somebody, so this is one person again offering cups. So somebody is not offering cups here. Who is it? Is it you or is it somebody else? And here's the third party. Somebody putting something else before somebody else in a relationship. So, not good. So, Ten of Fire is you removing yourself. You're done. I don't feel like the third party is you. I feel like it's somebody else and you're out of there. So, Four of Earth is you either being selfish because you need to move away from what you got going on right now. Or somebody else being selfish. And look at all the stuff behind this kitty. I don't feel like it's you now. I feel like it's somebody else trying to take from you. So Ace of Sky is a warning to me. It's like, stop. Somebody doesn't want to fight anymore. So Ten of Earth is generosity going to where people make you feel happy and loved and secure. The wheel, beautiful. The wheel is changing. So whatever this cycle was, it has worked itself and you are done. But it would be good if you figure out why it didn't work, pros and cons, your side, their side, and figure it out. And you will move on to this new um, wheel a lot comfortabler, if that makes sense, if that's even a word. So this is the cat. This is my precursor to fool co to love coming towards you. Look at this. I told you this is okay, Taurus. You this is good. So you have things changing. A new this is done. Whatever's going on there is done. Third party for those of you. This is my precursor to love coming towards you. You're just going on about your life, non suspecting, not looking for love. Wham. This is marriage. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Taurus, I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E cards now. Hasta la vista, baby. So there is something that you are leaving behind. And the universe is supporting you. It was destined. And I feel like it's just third party situation. It's destiny. The universe has you in their arms. Everything is beautiful. Five. If you add the numbers, it equals five, which is change. Again, the universe is holding you. When I see this pattern... It tells me the universe is holding you. You're like in a little swing, and they're swinging you. So you're saying bye to something, and everything is beautiful. Loud and clear, number nine. So you are loud and clear in your positive energy right now. I feel like your light is shining bright. Your masculine energy is a little stronger right now, even for those of you who are feminine. You're being a little more aggressive with your masculine energy because you know what you want and you're being very loud and clear that you have changed, that you are moving. Whatever happened here is beyond, behind you. You're moving to something beautiful and new. I got your back. Again, this is the universe saying they, they're up here. Here's the dark. Here's you. They're lifting you up into the light and you're going with the color. They have your back. Loud and clear. If you do not feel protected from all those beautiful cards right here, Taurus, please, please, please look at them. That's beautiful. So you got seven, five, nine, six, if that means anything. Yeah, a lot of protection there. They got your back. So now I'm going to read. Whoa. I'm not trying to throw my crystals around. Um, now I'm going to read the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you. A couple of those.
So the first one, Taurus, is denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And this is your sacral chakra and passion. So I feel like you were in denial about a third party. Maybe it was you who gave 100% in the relationship, and you were in denial that the other person wasn't giving anything. But the universe... You were supposed to learn something from that, and you're, it, you did, according to the universe, to move to a new cycle. You did beautiful, whatever you were supposed to learn. You denied it for a little while, but it, after a while, you acknowledged it. Surrender. I can release my need to control. And this always reminds me of the Petri dish, because when they put samples in there, it grows really fast. So whatever, once you surrender to what is going on, it's going to grow really fast. Whether it's love, a job, um, self-confidence, just happiness, I'm not sure. But once you surrender the denial, you're going to be a lot happier. So now I'm going to switch to the Fantasy Cats Oracle deck for you. And the first one is Winter, the Delicate Feeling of Night. So I do feel like a lot of you are going to be calm when this new person comes in. It's going to be different. Like the cycle is going to be totally different. You're going to be more dreamy, more starry, slower if that makes sense. It's going to be a slower cycle. Um, and just more, more emotions to relish in this cycle than the last cycle. Last cycle was kind of harsh. This cycle is not going to be so harsh, Taurus. So fall, the quiet joy of transition. So see what it says. You're moving into a transition of quietness. So the drama, the hardship, the tough times are behind you for right now, the beginning. You're going into the fall and you're going to be happy. You're in a good place. And you're just paying attention to the beauty and you're just like, wow, look at me. Look at how happy I am. That's what you're saying, the cat looking at the leaves. Beautiful. So I do feel like winter and fall are going to be okay for you. I really do. Look at this too. Now what I'm noticing right here, Taurus, I see yin and yang because I see the white kitty and the black kitty, right? Yin and yang. Right there. So something is going to balance out. Just trust that the universe has your back. Okay, i got to do the angel and ancestor cards for you. But yeah, trust that. That's nice. I know it's harsh. I think a lot of good people are leaving the bad cycles or the lessons and we're moving into a state of calmness and just being and learning and a lot of people who are negative are just having a hard time. So the first one that comes out for you is autumn. Release the old and rest. So you have autumn twice, fall. And this time you have the black bird, which is wisdom. So I feel like by the time the fall comes, you are going to have wisdom on where to go and what to do. I feel like by then you're going to be a little more um, secure in your new love that's coming towards you. And you're going to be able to rest and you're going to start planning. That's beautiful. So warrior, be fearless and stand strong. I'm going to read this because... I feel like you can release the warrior. Let me find it. Oh, it opened right up to it, too. So it says, don't back down, make your opinions heard, don't settle for second best. A warrior is anyone who is ready and willing to know themselves and do what needs to be done in order to get where they want to be. The warrior embodies fierce primal love, the warrior within, the energy you can call to protect yourself. If you are experiencing fear at this time, know that this means whatever is going on is important to you. Whatever, Whenever you feel fear, you are on the verge of something big. Perhaps a breakthrough that is going to really help you move forward. If you have a situation on your hands where you have to face something or something that's been unsettling you, know that you are being guided to call upon your inner warrior. Don't falter and don't be frightened because you have the energy to protect yourself now and at all times. So this is basically telling that you that you are a warrior. Don't be, don't be fearful. Whatever is coming to you, you can handle. You already decided this before you came down here. Um, so 
I feel like stillness is coming to you where it's going to mellow out for you. You're just going to be in a calmer state is what I'm feeling for you. You're going to find a little piece of happiness and some hardships are going to be behind you. and Maybe you're going to keep the warrior to feel you want to protect your new love and your quietness, your peacefulness that you two are going to move into the winter with is what I feel. Beautiful. All right, so thank you so much, Taurus. I hope this connects with a lot of you. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps me out a lot. I upload two videos every day at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you don't want your phone to beep, don't hit the bell icon when you subscribe. And if you do want your phone to beep at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on whatever time that is where you are, then do hit the bell icon. All right, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Taurus.